that they're paid by a con. And they'll say, oh, 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 oh. Tony D and Stax should have won the titles. So I was an advocate of that. Right call. <coughs> <laughs> I'm still dying from this sickness. I mean, this is horrible. I got so wow. much gunk in me. Yes? Uh, uh, you I mean, idiot. A, a musical reference, Brian. I'm down with it. The record for the worst wrestler with the best entrance video is Gable Stevenson. He got booed. Oh, Fans I'll booed say. the guy. <laughs> yeah. Out of the and, building. And uh, they did the shittiest finish you could have possibly done. You could not have had a bigger fail as a debut then this debut right here of Baron Corbin and Gable Stevenson. A catastrophe is what this was. Thank God Dominic retained the title because Judgment Day is moving numbers. And uh, we need to get people watching that show because it's a renewal year. And uh, he's the right guy's champ. If Thea grabbed the left arm and hooked her left arm under it and put her left hand on her right hand and put her right hand here, push down on her left tricep, like a pro wrestling armbar, right? <laughs> I'm a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Okay. I have no earthly idea what you're describing right now. Booker T. Oh, my gosh. At random points, he was just making noise. Ah, da, da. Yeah, he what gets a little shucky-ducky here and there. It's Booker T. It's Booker T. This main event. Jesus Christ. Oh, fantastic my God. Match. What a fantastic fight. I mean, this was as good a match as you're going to see anywhere. Like the G1... AW pay-per-view. I mean, this match was fucking great. People were like, did you notice when he made that X? He made the X directly over the E in AEW. He was Xing out the elite. And I was like, oh, have you I'd ever like drawn an X? I'd like to see an X that doesn't go through the middle. Can you show me that X? Like maybe the X goes around the middle Your and head. then it goes around the middle this way. Your That'd head be an interesting sucks. looking X. That was a perfect wrestling match. I can't name one way that could have been better. Every time these guys are on screen, I'm going to be terrified. <laughs> yes. That one is the going day to turn is on coming. the other. Mm-hmm. I don't want it to happen, but I know what's going to happen. But I still don't know who's going to do it. So I'm just going to be the most anxiety-filled wrestling fan you ever saw <laughs> watching this. Just knowing I don't know what's going to happen or exactly when, but it's going to suck. This was the worst match I have ever seen. Looked like they were my age. There was a small wire cart there. It was so small he had trouble getting in it. Then the other guy gave it a push. They went back in the ring, and the one that walked out won it. So I gave that a minus O. (laughs) A minus O. Wow. Yeah, that was so bad. Wow. Well, whoever can figure out what match that is... It's a Impact Wrestling match, and it was Johnny Swinger and Zicky Dice because they used the cart before the finish, and the guy that left and tried to lose and get counted out was, in fact, the guy who won. I'm calling it Down Granny's Memory Lane. Are you reading from your memoirs? Yes. No, no, no. That's past. Oh, okay. This is new stuff. This is more up to date, you know. I'm I more... see. Okay, this is the more recent stuff. Yeah, new old stuff. I just no, said. no, no. Okay, no, no. the <laughs> New Testament. Everyone, let her go. We lived on a farm ten miles east of Baker. More and... recent, you say? <laughs> I was going to say this is a new. No, this is old. It's old. Okay. Okay. Who said new? I didn't say new. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we're just going to be quiet. And you... Am I out of my mind? No. <laughs> yes, we're all out of our minds. <laughs> now I'm upset. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> I'll, I, I'm finding Vinny. Vinny, you're being fined a hundred dollars. No. It was Martels and Hebes. Hebes. Martel. <laughs> the Hebes. The Hebes. And the Hebes only had one daughter named Alice. <laughs> yeah. What's so funny about the name? The Hebes. The daughter Alice. Uh, she knew how to yodel, and she was what <laughs> what she'd call nowadays a rebel. The yodeling rebel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Granny, if I may interrupt, what did they call her back then? Alice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I wasn't going to like this segment, Granny? <laughs> this is the best segment we've had on the show in years. Papa the Psycho Dwarf pulls out a handgun. You're telling me this guy in the trash can has been remembered and talked about for 21 years. 
but nobody remembers when he pulled a fucking gun on Jeff Jarrett. He pulled a gun on him. In the so ring. He is going to shoot, shoot Jeff Jarrett. In the celebration of the 200th episode, they brought back the exploding chalk graphics. He wants to admit that he suffers from both attention deficit disorder and rejection sensitive disorder. And he explains what life is like with this. He cannot regulate rejection-based emotion or disorders. And I, I'm pointing at the screen like Leonardo DiCaprio. Like, hey, that sounds all very familiar. I don't want it to be just a title shot. You deserve more than that. You deserve the main event match and the biggest show we're ever doing. MJF versus Adam Cole at Wembley in All In. And I thought, hallelujah, they've announced a match. A match is going to happen on that show. And Cole's hug goes from an open hand pat on the back to that closed fist stabbing gesture. And some have noted the last time Cole did this, it was to Roderick Strong at NXT, and it didn't go well from there. Roderick Strong, Britt Baker, they need to be out there at ringside for Adam Cole's big moment. And those two need to slide him that big fucking roll of quarters mm. to knock out MJF, win the title, and there is your three-person unit. Apparently, Plays off the most horrible thing that ever happened to MJF yeah. in his life with the quarters. Yeah. I mean, come on. This writes itself! <laughs> it was announced that the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega and Hangman Page had all turned down the idea of going to WWE in favor of going to AEW. And that very night that they chose AEW over WWE, they did spots with a seven-foot giant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is wacky. I don't think I've ever heard a ring that sounds exactly like that. Go watch the Battle of the Empire, and every time someone takes a bump, all those training videos we did, mm -hmm. that same clanging noise when people take a bump, it's like, I just, I fucking, like, it's the weirdest thing to watch this shit. When that fan held up the sign, which was like, uh, you know, book the women better, whatever that sign was. What they're talking about is like, book them better. Not just, this is the main event of this, the 200th episode. Sheeta beat someone who we never even see lately, Nyla. I mean, we almost never see Nyla. She beat her in a random match on Rampage, and now she's wrestling in the main event against Tony Storm. That's not what that fan and many fans are asking for. When it comes to booking the women's division, they popped so big for Ray. And then when Ray said that he was coming to this building next ah. week, <laughs> they fucking lost their minds. I think that's going to be the biggest NXT number, maybe, maybe even of the year. This could be the Seth show. Killer instinct. Clonny Jordan acted like she had never heard the words killer instinct before in her lifetime. Are you from Mars? How have you never heard the term killer instinct? She was baffled. Like, God, I gotta get a killer instinct? I gotta have the instincts of someone who kills. What the fuck? This is serious shit. I was dying watching this. Dying. <laughs> no, they're having a match for a fake cup. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Of course it is. Everything Noam Dar does is ridiculous. It's I not... hope that Tyler wins the fake cup. So then Noam has to go catatonic again. But now we've got Tyler Bate, who was on a retreat, not knowing that he's got the fake cup. Yes. And then, you know, the guy with the real cup's got to go, that's the fake cup. And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I won the real cup here. Why do you got a fake cup? And then we got, you know, then, you know, Noam's got to show up with a third cup. And then eventually we'd have a three-way to unify all the cups. They could call it a three guys, one cup match. That's a, a great plan. My notes here, which you can grab as a subscriber of mine on Twitter. I send all my TV reports to my super followers. He scared the fuck out of me. Run, trick. Just run. Yeah. Two good shows. That's what yeah. I like is when we get to watch two good shows and not one really shitty two-hour show. That's much better, yeah.